In today's video, we're taking a look at how to replace or install your vehicle's windshield wiper easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you woke up today just like every other day. You turn on your car, grab your coffee or tea and turn on your windshield. Or you're already in your car and it starts raining and you start using your windshield and you're asking yourself, did you forget to pack them? Because I know I see them there on the glass moving up and down, but I don't see them do anything. Then you start wondering, should I use my hand? Should I stop at the gas station? Use the free glass cleaner that they have? Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. So the first thing that you wanna do is have a car or a truck or a van, but don't worry. If you don't have one, we thought about that. You can use your neighbors, your parents, your spouse, your significant other, your friend. The second thing that you want is to have new wipers to install. And windshield wipers go by size. You can find this information in your owner's manual. You could do a little search on the internet or you can find this information at your local auto parts store. But if you wanna do the DIY version, you can also measure them. And the measurement in inches that you get is usually the measurement that you need. Now that we filled your brain with information, data, numbers, the first thing that we wanna do is verify how the wipers face up and down. You can take a picture of your old wipers to have a reference. If you notice in our case, it does have a little tab at the top. So we know that the tab goes facing up. The next thing that we wanna do is lift up the wipers from the windshield and they should stay in place. A pro tip, if you're scared that they might spring back, you can place a piece of cloth, a mover's blanket, tell your friend, family member, significant other, spouse to lay on the glass. Whatever technique you use, we applaud it. We know that you are the master of your kingdom. Just don't say it that loud so you won't get dethroned. So the technique consists of three steps. The first one, you wanna have a two-handed grip on the windshield wiper and arm. And you wanna do this because the last thing you want on a clear sunny day or any kind of day is to go from a wiper change to a windshield change. Now the next step, we wanna move the wiper on a horizontal position. It's like laying it flat in the air. Now that the wiper is in a resting position, we want to pull down the wiper towards the arm. In some wipers, you're going to notice an empty gap for a smoother transaction. In some like this one, it has a little space so it could get the full motion. And what that does is disconnect it or unclip it from the hook. And our last step is more like a two-step process. We're gonna place it parallel again with the arm and pull down towards the arm. And this is basically gonna remove the wiper from the arm. And this technique works with hook style windshield wiper arms. You can also use this technique for the ones with the clip. The only thing you have to do is press on the tab so it can let go from the hook. So now you have a car with no wipers now, you're back to square one. But if you think on the positive side, the lighter the car, the faster it goes. Or at least that's what we saw in F9. This particular vehicle uses 17 inches in the passenger side and 28 inches on the driver's side. And you know that means that the manufacturer clearly meant for the driver to be more special. Just don't let your co-pilot loved one know about that. But let's say you don't know or you can't find the size of your wiper. The easiest way to do it, you can measure it right off the windshield wiper. And what we measure is from corner to corner. And we're measuring the rubber part. In this case, the passenger side is 17 inches. But the best way to measure it is removing it from the vehicle. So like that, it won't snap back to the windshield and create a bigger loss comments from your loved one or family members or onlookers or neighbors and measuring this one we get 28 inches now we're going to basically reverse engineer our way to the goal line we're going to take our new wiper place the hook inside the clip and placing it back is a lot easier you just pull until you hear the snap or the clip and then finally, you make sure that it is tight. In some cases, you have to lay it horizontal again in the resting position so the hook 
can fit on the clip. But then, just like before, just backwards, you insert it in the clip and pull. Now, the only thing that you have to do is repeat that to the other side. And if you have a rear wiper, you can also do that to that one as well. Now, you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You're ready to take on the world. Neither rain, snow, bugs, insects, or any flying debris that gets in your windshield is going to stop you now. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.